everyone, it's Elaine, and today I want to show you a way to use up some scraps. Um, actually, I'm going to show you two things that I've done. Uh, many of you know I'm on the design team for Sweet Pea Curiosities. She has a great Etsy shop and she does the best digitals. Well, these are some of her digitals that I printed out because I need it more. <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you what I did with these. These are called French receipts in her shop. So go find them. But let me get what I've got here and let me show you what I've done. Put that off to the side. I have made little notebooks. Um, I had purchased some, um, I can't talk today, some sorry silk a while back. And it came in, I want to say maybe two foot strips. So I just snipped the end a little bit and, and then tore it. And so here's what I have. Just, whoops, got it upside down, sorry. Just some little books with all kinds of scraps in it. I guess I don't have it upside down. Maybe the pages inside are upside down. I don't know. Um, anyhow, that is what I came up with. And oops, there's some of my coffee stained paper in there. I did a little bit. Um, so let me show you here. I've got a bunch of them, as you can see, that I've done already. I think when you get that digital kit, I want to say there's like three receipts on each page and there's probably maybe at least eight pages. Alrighty, so that is what I did. I'm trying to find here in my goodies just to kind of give you an idea. What I would do is I would measure the inside of this so I knew how much how big my strips needed to be or my inside pieces and so we always end up with scraps like this alrighty then what I did where's the one I did here I just took and scored it all scored this and scored this and this one I didn't do too good at but I folded it down the middle excuse me folded it got my pieces in there I did better on the inside getting it lined up but then I just sewed, and it is adorable to me. These would be really cute in a little tuck, um, inside of a pocket, just another little something something. And I didn't embellish anything in here. I thought it's best just to keep it plain. Um, that way if someone does want to do a little bit of writing, and this is something that they can go and stick in their purse. Alrighty, so that is the first little thing I want to show you. Let me just get this out of the way for right now. Get it in here. Now the other thing that I did is kind of along the same premise. However, <laughs> however, what I used here was wallpaper. I have a ton of wallpaper. And I have a die that cuts an ATC card. So that's normally what I do, is I'll cut my wallpaper, and I have a bunch of it all ready to go. But it's the same thing. I used up scraps, and I sewed down the middle. But what the base is, and what did I do with them? What did I do? Here we go. Like I told you, I'm kind of doing this impromptu today, is I used playing cards. That is the base of my um, folder. Now this time, these are a little bigger because there was some kind of playing card that I came across. It was like a kid's game. So those cards were a little bit bigger. But these, I have some smaller ones in there that I did. And they are a playing card. Alrighty. So the, just the base is kind of what you can find and what you have. And then like I said, I did wallpaper. Now some of the wallpaper, that one can, you can't see so well. Some of the wallpapers that I did, I really coffee stained them. And I'm trying, there you can see that one a little bit with the stain on them. Um, and then some of them I did not do that to. Here's one. This is a good one. Alrighty. And again, these are just to stick in a little place, use up your scraps. And it's easy peasy, like I said. And, and you don't necessarily have to use wallpaper. I like wallpaper because I like the. Um, I like the uh, the feel of it. It's a little 
like slicky, you know, kind of resistant. Um, but you can use whatever you like to. And that is that. So please come check out everything. And uh, by all means, check out Sweet Pea Curiosities, her French receipts, and make your own little books with them. Or, of course, you can just use those as they are as a little thing down in a pocket and all. So with that being said, I appreciate it. And please um, give me a like on here and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I do have a Facebook page and a group. I'm on Instagram. I don't do a whole lot on Twitter. I try to get on Pinterest. And I have a little Etsy shop. And remember, if you're ever in the area of Georgia or northeastern Alabama, I do some retreats. And I would love for you to join me. So just reach out and I can give you the details. It's kind of two separate things. Um, but yeah, I would love to have you on board with us. So with that being said, I will catch you down the road and I will put the link to the French receipts down below. So check it out. I'll talk to you later. Bye.